Hello, it's Stephen here, and we're looking at question four from a higher paper in GCSE uh, paper one from ACCA. Um, the the pa past papers are available on the ACCA website down below here, and also more training programs are available on Academic Supply. .co.uk website. Okay, let's read the question. The diagram shows a fair octagonal spinner. So we're in the fair and there's a spinner. Dave's at the fair and he spins a spinner 20 times. The results are shown in the table. So he spins it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. up to number 20. He spins it 20 times and these are the results. On the first one he gets one, then on the three, then one, etc, etc, two, three, one. Okay, what is the relative frequency of the spin landing on one? Well, what is the relative frequency? Well, the relative frequent uh, frequency is the number of times one occurs divided by or over the total number of spins okay so I'll just take it up here because we got some space um, the total number of spins is 20 so that goes on the bottom. Now what goes on the top is the number of times one occurs. So we can count them. Um, let me just change color of pen. There's one there. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. So that's seven times that one occurs. So we have 7 on top, and we can't reduce that fraction any further, and that's the correct answer. And we've got two marks already, so that's a great start. Um, we've got the two marks that are available shown just here. Okay, Steve also spins the spinner 20 times. I'm actually my name's Steve, so this guy's a nice guy. Uh, anyway, explain why Steve may not get the same results as Dave. Well, let's think. Why isn't he getting exactly the same results? Well, actually, each time you spin, it's a random event. So, when you make a spin, it could land on any number. So, of intuitively, it will not be the same. It's very unlikely to be the same. So the reason is the number the results are random and that's great we've we're on a flying start here and we've got another mark so we've got another mark there so we've got three marks in total now so one mark there. Okay, let's have a look at the last question. How many times would you expect a result of three if you span the spinner? 1,000 times. Okay, let's have a look at the spinner. Well, the spinner is oct to the gun. Oct actually means eight. So let's count. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight total possibilities. And of those possibilities, um, we have one three there and one three there. So we've got two possibilities out of eight. So that when we we have a possibility of two out of eight times. That's a f f every time we spin 
eight times, we're likely to get two or three. We can actually reduce that fraction by dividing by two and dividing by two on the bottom, and we get one out of four. And that is the probability. Now, we can, if we span it a thousand times, one fourth of those times are likely to be threes. So what do we do? Well, we take the number 1000 and we times it by the probability, which is one fourth. Okay. Now, a thousand times one fourth looks a bit tricky, but I can do a little trick for you here. You can actually write one fourth as a half times a half. A half times a half is a fourth. And that makes it a lot easier because now we can a thousand times a half equals five hundred. And we've still got one more half to deal with. So a thousand times a half is five hundred. Five hundred times a half is 250 and that's our answer 250 uh, we expect from the spins and we've got another two marks we'll probably get um, one mark for this and one mark for getting the result here so a total in this ex question, there are five marks available and we've got all of them. So we're, we're doing very confident now and we're moving on to the next question. If you've got any questions, please email us at info at academicsupply.co.uk. Many thanks for your time.